Let's create this hook model with the help of boundary boss base feature. All dimensions are in millimeter. All curves are tangent to each faces. Spline tangent weight are 30 and 60 mm. Okay. You will see tangent, spline tangent weights 30 mm, 30, 60 mm in both side. Okay. So how we can start, we will start to create this one pipe. Then we will add here. This one, how much radius you will see R5. This is cut at 25 millimeter and the center radius 20. So first we will create this one. Then we will create this portion. This portion diameter 26, 75 millimeter away from here and 30 millimeter length. You will see here after that, this is going to be like a curve. Right plane sketch. Now let me select here center line, draw horizontal vertical lines, right click, select and exit circle and draw one circle here, make diameter uh, radius 5 diameter 10 and this is going to be radius 20. Okay. Now go to feature and activate revolve boss base feature. Now see here, I need to choose axis of revolution and we have to create one complete 360 degree body, solid body. Okay. Now let me select again, right plane sketch circle and make diameter 26. Extrude. Go to feature extruded boss base. I want to add material here. How much length? 30 millimeter. But distance offset 75 millimeter. But this is moving wrong direction. So simply reverse this. See distance from here to here 75 and this length 30 millimeter. That's fine. Now let's try to cut this and connect also. Now this is the critical part. We have to trim from here and we have to connect with this. All curves are tangent to each other. The bo bottom curve 25. Let's see how we can achieve this. Front plane is sketch. Now let me select this outer one. Convert entity. Center line. Now draw one line. Connect from here and connect from outer surface also. Okay. Now select this one. Select this box. Convert entity. Okay. We need to choose some line. So I'm going to select this edge. Okay. It's difficult to select the edge. This is converted. Okay, let me start line. Go back to the point and convert this in as arc. Connect here. Exit. Now make sure tangent. And this arc, select this outer arc. And make sure tangent. Okay, this is not connected with this. Select this point and this. Look, it seems fully defined. 25. Now this curve is defined. Okay. Now three point arc. I'm going to connect from here. Let's say connect to this. Make something like this. Okay. Now let me trim this power trim entity power trim. Just press and hold and drag. So those portions deleted. Now here, select this point, tangent. Similarly, select this point, tangent to this. Make this one construction line. Look, we did not define any dimension, just tangent to each surfaces and we receive this one. Okay, exit. Now again, front plane sketch. I want to trim this.
ओके लेट मी सिलेक्ट दीज टू लाइन्स बेटर टू कनेक्ट वन फुल लाइन नाउ गैप बिटवीन दीज टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलीमीटर लुक इट सीन्स फुल्ली डिफाइंड इधर यू कैन कनेक्ट विथ दिस और टेक इट आउट नो इश्यू नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू स्प्लिट दिस बॉडी बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू रिमूव दिस पोर्शन सो लेट से गो टू इवेल्युएट सॉरी डायरेक्ट एडिटिंग एंड हियर वन ऑप्शन कॉल्ड स्प्लिट नाउ स्केच ऑलरेडी सिलेक्टेड हियर सेलेक्ट ऑल बॉडी कट बॉडीज नाउ सी वन टू थ्री थ्री बॉडी हैव सो आई एम गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट दिस बॉडी विच वन इज नन द थर्ड पार्ट ओके कम डाउन कंज्यूम कट बॉडी वी सेलेक्टेड दिस इज गोइंग टू रिमूव दैट्स वाई सिलेक्ट कंज्यूम कट बॉडीज से ओके सी दोज बॉडी ट्रिम्ड नाउ वी हैव दिस कर्व नाउ वी हैव टू क्रिएट सम कर्व फ्रॉम हियर सो लेट्स इंसर्ट थ्री डी स्केच गो टू स्केच थ्री डी स्केच नाउ लेट मी सिलेक्ट दिस फेस टूल्स एंड हियर स्केच टूल्स चूज फेस कर्व Now here I want to make face curve. Now face already selected mesh. Uncheck this, and here choose only two line. See these two horizontal line because we we have already line here. We don't need those all. Okay. Now let me select these two lines. Make it construction. Again select this face. Tools. This is critical part of this drawing. Sketch tool. face curve uncheck okay we, we need this uh, we don't need those so uncheck this outer curve we need these lines make it four you will see four line at four four corners constraint to model ignore holes say okay now Let's connect these with spline. Activate spline tool. Now connect from this point to this point. Right click, exit. Similarly, again activate select curve this point to this point. Exit. That's it. Now let's make important relation. this is also tangent so select this one with this one tangent this curve is spline with this construction line tangent similarly on this way this one with this tangent and select these lines make it construction geometry because this is just going to define the path okay let me choose tangent top face normal view now let's apply here weight dimensions spline weight 30 30 60 mm 60 mm now we have a path for this curve see exit now we have too many direction so i am going to choose boundary boss base in boundary boss base you have to choose direction not profile so in direction one i am going to choose these two surfaces so i am going to select this surface and i am going to select this surface now see this is going to connect with each other but now one mm. more thing faces tangent to faces and here also choose align with other geometry okay now this is the tangent length if 1 mm this side so other side also it's moving 1 mm tangent it means both side tangent is equal if you keep two means other side tangents is double the previous side now direction to in direction to i am going to choose those path we created 
let's say select first this is select open profile okay select the second one open now let me select the path now see this path selected now let's select top path this is important okay this is the top path now select this one choose here open see this is move select this one open but still you will see there is a something balance so here in global curve influence i am going to keep this one linear now you will see or even you will see here tangent influence keep 100 it gives you more accurate result now you will see exact path and everything say okay here activate merge tangent faces say okay and let's observe see it it seems smooth little there, there is a still deviation but it looks more practical okay hide now at this curve there is a uh, half circle r5 then there is a ellipse ellipse size how much 18 14 from here this radius r4 and the distance from uh, top plane is to up to here is 15 and corner radius r5 and the thickness of this 2 millimeter select this face sketch convert entity activate line make it half okay trim entity power trim just press and hold the left mouse and drag and see this is going to trim I want to make half circle revolve a boss base feature now here choose axis of revolution let's say this one angle I am going to keep 180 so it makes perfect see top plane a sketch center point ellipse okay this dimension 18 radius 4 means diameter 8 and distance Fourteen. It looks perfect. Extruded boss base. Offset. Fifteen. Make it reverse and here choose up to body and select this body. Now you will see this is moving from top side to bottom. Say OK. See. Select this corner. Fillet. And here choose constant type fillet symmetric radius 5 millimeter. Now you will see the preview. Say OK. Shell 2 millimeter wall thickness. Show preview. Select this face. OK. Now let me choose section view, okay, and see what result we achieve. Don't forget to share and like our video and subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.